Welcome VV fam, in this video I'll be discussing is the VV bubble bursting and covering some recent points that we made in a few other videos by a few other competitors of VV as well as a few people in the community. So we are going to be addressing three things in this video. First being VV NFTs aren't real NFTs. We won't be allowed to transfer our NFTs off app by Apple or Android and the third point there's no way to kind of cash out, take out, take out your gem, take out your money from the app, but the money transfer license, MTL, won't be happening. So that's kind of the three points I'll be addressing in this video. Share my thoughts on that and share what I think. So first of all, the first point around NFTs not being real NFTs on the VV app. So there's different ways, first of all, to create and maintain a blockchain, and that is obviously the, the backbone of NFTs. And currently we're in the process of just completing the migration from one type of blockchain to another. But essentially, at the moment, yes, the NFTs we have, we don't have the direct access to them that other NFTs on OpenSea do have. But VV have stated that the plan is to allow that in the future and to kind of have access to NFTs in that way and we can control what we can and can't do around that. What this means for us is the IPs that are being used in VV will be contracts associated with them and those contracts will dictate what we can and can't do with those NFTs but they will still be NFTs just because they're not in an open open blockchain or in a private blockchain doesn't make any sense of an NFT and uh, people in the UK for example can buy Bitcoin through PayPal and PayPal actually own your addresses it's a safer way and an easier way for new people into crypto to kind of purchase Bitcoin Technically, PayPal holds the private keys, not the person themselves, but it's all accessed through the PayPal app and website. Just like your money, if you have money in your PayPal account, it's sitting in, in PayPal's hands, not your own, it's not in your own pocket, but you do have access to it. And yes, there's people out there that say, well, it's not truly in your control, it's not truly part of the NFT or blockchain technology if you don't have full control and ownership over things. But that's true for many things. That's just one version of NFTs in the blockchain. You don't have to be that version to be NFTs or blockchain. It can just be a, a different version. And it's been very open and upfront and have that discussion and conversation with people. So I'm glad there's people out there asking these questions. But a lot of these points have been addressed in the past. And really it's just repeating the same information. So really that brings me on to my second point around um, Apple and Android. So currently VV are working with Apple and Android on a regular basis. They already take their own percentage fees in terms of buying gems. And I'm sure once we have cash out, they will also be worked into that as well. Again, if I'm using my PayPal account on the phone, uh, Apple don't take a slice of money I put into my account that way because I'm accessing my PayPal account. I'm sure a similar thing could happen with Vivi, where when you're using your account to take entities out, that Apple don't have to get a slice, but again, VV are in constant, constant communication, working very closely with Apple, with Android, etc. They kind of agree terms and conditions, agree and uh, come to an understanding of how this will work, without negative impact in either business. So I'm very kind of glad VV are doing this, and really this kind of ties my first two points together. Is we're still early days in the whole VV NFT space. It's been just over a year. Uh, there's a lot of things to work out in terms of cashing in, cashing out, in terms of NFTs and getting them onto a blockchain that's different from the current blockchain we were on previously. So what it basically means is there's an opportunity for people to kind of uh, speculate, create some FUD, create some rumours etc. without really addressing the core things here that VV have agreed plan. We've got the backing of Disney, Marvel, DC etc. We're in constant communication with those companies as well as with Apple and Android. So really, I'm very confident that VV can execute on their plan. I've talked about in previous videos where the thing I'm less certain about is the time scales to that plan. And yes, VV are known to say one date and miss that date. And again, I think that's just down to the fact that we're doing so much so quickly. That it's only inevitable that some things will be delayed and pushed back, which I'm comfortable with going in, knowing that, and to want to make sure other people know that as well. Which kind of takes me on to my last point around the cash out because we can't cash out just now, we don't really own the NFTs. Well, first of all, I kind of talked in a previous video about MTL, but the money transfer license gives us the ability to cash out into fiat, into our own currency. I do think that will happen. It might not happen to the timescales that VV have said, but 
but I do think it will happen, just take time. But again, at the moment, people can cash out of app uh, through third parties, things by eBay, by Facebook. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but people do do it, and some people do get scammed, other people use ESCO if things go okay. But there's an opportunity to do that just now. And people are saying the NFT prices we're paying just now are overpriced. Well, I can see that in the sense that when you look at it as a digital collectible, you think this comic is really worth 200 gems, and this collectible will be worth 2,000 gems. You might ask a que might very well ask a question, is that the case? And really, if pe things are, are worth for people are willing to pay for it, if people are willing to pay uh, quite a lot of money for these NFTs, that doesn't mean in the future that won't change. But I genuinely think for, for the key NFTs in terms of first appearance, popular characters, popular products, they will always remain popular and sought after and therefore the value will go up. The Golden Moments, for example, I think will be always a very popular uh, IP brand to go after in terms of collectibles. Other collectibles, like, you know, for example, we had the recent DC Cover Girls Series 2, where it was all um, set in the third appearance characters. I don't know if they'll, they'll hold value long, longer term compared to where we are just now, particularly when there's 50 or 60 or 70 kind of versions of characters on the app. But ultimately, the market will determine the price, not the people trying to sell it. So if people want to pay for it, they will. And again, I've, I've brought this point up in many videos, and others have too. The numbers we're dealing with just now in terms of edition sizes are quite small compared to the millions of people who will be coming onto the app. And VV are quite bullish and they keep um, touting the number of people coming in, people adding more gems in. And I think what people are doing is now is that they're, they're just kind of stocking up on their gems for a big drop that's upcoming. Nothing's been announced as yet of recording, but they are wanting to have those gems in hand to buy stuff rather than wait to near a time and sell some collectibles to kind of buy back in. So that might explain just now why we're seeing a kind of downward trend just now is because the people who can't afford to onboard more currency and buy more gems will be able to sell and the people who do have the currency, the gems, will be able to pick up and they don't mind waiting and picking up things for cheaper. So we will see a bit more of a downward trend for the rest of this week I think until we have an announcement about the next upcoming big drop. But those kind of three points for me are really, really important to cover. I'm not about spreading rumour, I'm not a, a fanboy for Vivi. I just think it's take it as a business. They've got a plan, they've had to engage with, sign contracts with multiple partners, with Apple, with Android, they've read out their plans, uh, they've read out you know, estimated time scales, which I think are a bit ambitious, considering all we've got to do in the time we've got. They already have people testing out MTL, we've already kind of going through the process of getting the agreements financially in place to allow that people to do that. Now obviously working on the OMI token, we're doing the migration, they're also kind of supporting upcoming drops. So we've got a lot going on. It's quite a relatively small team compared to something like YouTube, Google, etc. So they're doing a lot with a little and they're achieving a lot with a little. So that's very bullish for me. So I'd love to know what people listening to the video are thinking. Uh, do, we, do we agree with myself? So I do think these NFTs are real NFTs. I do think we will be able to kind of transfer certain NFTs off app depending on the license agreed with Disney, Marvel, or whoever owns that particular license. And I do think these are underpriced just now in the long term for a lot of these collectibles and we'll be able to cash out in the future in app through uh, MTL. If you disagree with that, well, I'd love to know why you think that and if you're still bullish on VV for other reasons. I'd just love to know your general thoughts and what those points I've raised there. And if you agree, disagree, I'd love to know in the comments below. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this, please do check out this video here. It's been very popular on the channel. Or if you check out this video here, I'm sure you'll have it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.